We're at Stank of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The only place where you can eat barbecue while watching players get barbecued. I can't stop thinking about barbecue. Is it obvious? Barbecue. Mm-mm, good. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Philadelphia Evils go up against the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of that extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, three. Oh, and he loses the ball along with his life. When did we become so numb to all this? I uh, honestly can't remember. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It's good. <laughs> huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. There's no reason to go. And the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. They're going for it, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten.
second down and more than the QB would like. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Third down and nine. Take a double Roy burger, large Roy fries, and a big Roy go. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm just gonna rip your head off and get out of here. That's a touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night and taco hell. He has better footwork though than me. On account of not clenching his cheeks though. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Second down in a very lot. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And the runner is going to be Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Second down and six. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and six. Jerk. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, oh, my bad. Second down and long. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. That run. 
run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. First down and five, and the defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? <laughs> First and two. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. <laughs> and we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Oh, that was a snooze fest. Second and three. Second down in a line. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the ref shows some nifty moves and escapes with his life. I got a saw butt that says he's dead next play. <laughs> I'm not taking that bet. <laughs> Second down in a mile. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and forever. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Say what? Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Ah, and he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. All up here. Talk to the air. Not much.
much there, maybe a yard. Third down and nine. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Apparently, the punt of the day is being played by my kid's sister. He's got the ball now. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. some cash first in and three oh nice hit <laughs> second and three timeout hoping to save some time for their offense third down and six
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled-up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare. And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is... He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. Now this one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the- And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of his- It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a roid rage with a vodka chaser. Make it snap your way, shorty. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, hey, but he sure has a good set of hands. I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on side. He was still talking, he'd be saying. Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck. First down and three. into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Hey, man, how's 
They want more points, so they're going for two. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, Vince, the QB turned the defense into an abject mess. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. <laughs> Second down and five. Just put on a display there. Touchdown! <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Turn here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kids are setting up an easy kill. And it's 
first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. Third down and long. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Third down and five. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if there's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Man with a ball and didn't fall out. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. If he does that again, they'll drop him. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here.
And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense called, and that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Monkey finds his head. He'll be okay. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Yeah. Now, here comes the punting. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and ten. And the defense falls from that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Red, can I kill him? Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and eight to go. He had it for a second there. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. pick up there and that'll be second down and four With kickers, you never know. The kick is good. 
Hogan. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And that player has one speed, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. Like, They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. That's a catch for a 10-yard gain. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. First and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. First and ten. Only two minutes left in the game. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's what you call a killer one-hitter, folks. I did a killer one-hitter once at an ungrateful, undead riot fest. I woke up with three guys lying on my kneecap. <laughs> the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Second down and first time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Third down and the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And 
In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupid time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Oh, man, nobody can touch the line ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. That's a bad kick, and it's going to cost them some yards. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Still, it ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. The Carolina Panzers suffer a big loss today. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hector.